Today on the show, I'm speaking with Dawson Church, who has done some incredible scientific research into things that would normally fall into the woo-woo basket. Things like EFT, and he's doing some amazing work with, uh, with Afghanistan and Iraq vets. So stay tuned. Hi, I'm Natalie Ledwell, and this is The Inspiration Show, and today my special guest is the amazing Mr. Dawson Church. Hi, Dawson. How are you? <laughs> hey, Natalie. It's always wonderful to be with you. Um, so glad that you could join us today. Um, I'm so excited to get into what we're talking about today because you're doing some incredible work with, uh, with some vets coming back from Iraq and even from Vietnam, um, and you do a whole lot of incredible research, uh, which we'll get into. But first of all, let's just start about your background and what it is that you do. Sure. Well, I've been intrigued by the whole field of energy healing, energy medicine, since my teenage years. I took my first class this around the age of 15. And I watched people have remarkable healings just by things like intention, uh, things like Reiki laying out of hands. And it was remarkable to see people have these healings from even fairly serious diseases sometimes using these intangible energy methods. Then... Um, the, the problem with those methods was, though, that my medical colleagues would say, or my psychiatry colleagues would say, well, Dawson, your stuff is all very nice, people feel good, the placebo effect, and so on, but there's no real science behind this. Right. So <laughs> finally, science began to catch up. And in the last 10, 20, 30 years, we've learned about fields like psychoneuroimmunology, about fields like epigenetics, about fields like um, neural plasticity, that our brains are re re rewiring themselves with every thought. One astonishing piece of research by a doctor called Eric Kandel showed that if you pass a signal through a neural bundle over and over and over and over again, within one hour of repeat stimulation, the number of neural connections in that bundle doubles. It doubles. So if you are thinking the same negative thought over and over and over again, if you are having the same negative experience, if you are practicing your tennis swing, anything you do repetitively for an hour or more over and over and over again, literally shapes your brain. You, you build up your brain on those pathways you use most often. So we now know that there is really good science behind this. And in my book, The Genie in Your Genes, I have over 400 studies which I cite from peer-reviewed journals like American Psychological Association journals, Journal of the American Medical Association, showing some of the, the pathways by which this happens. And so the science behind energy healing now is starting to look very, very, very good. We're not, not only seeing these healings happen, but we're seeing the underlying physiological mechanisms by which these healings happen and that they can happen, that they, they can change. Our bodies can change really fast as our consciousness changes, as our beliefs change, as our experiences change. Genes are turning on and off, our neurology is shifting, all kinds of new molecules being made in our hormonal system. So we're now showing that these kinds of interventions have a very, very sound medical and psychological basis. Yes, you know, you mentioned epigenetics before, um, and I've read quite a bit of work from, from Bruce Lipton. It's, now, it's a fairly new science. You know, what, what, is it, what, what is that science? Epigenetics takes its name from the idea that influences from outside the genome are influencing the gene. The old model was all the information for all the processes of life is contained within the gene. Right. That model has been steadily eroded over the last 20 years. We now know that many things affect us, affect our gene expression, which genes are on, which genes are off from outside the gene. And a very simple example is if the, um, say the, uh, the fire alarm goes off in your office or my office, we'll jump up and we'll have a big stress response. We'll, our levels of adrenaline will rise, levels of cortisol will rise in one or two seconds because the genes that code for adrenaline and cortisol click on just like that in one or two seconds. So it's an external stimulus outside the cell coming into the body through the senses and then affecting the production of these hormones. But the thing is our, our thinking has the same effect. We think of a stressor. If I think, oh, uh, my mother-in-law is coming to visit this week, and I'm so stressed about that. Now, I'm actually going to tell you, my mother-in-law really is coming this week, and I love her. She's fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm good biochemicals. My serotonin's going up as I talk about her. Excellent. <laughs> experience. So if they think about that stressful experience, then, um, then you drive your body to that stress response just as surely as if you were being chased by a lion or a tiger. So we're now realizing our thoughts, our feelings, our consciousness is having a, an enormous effect on our health and our bodies. 
Right, so we're saying that we don't necessarily have to be, make do with the hand that we've been dealt, that, that we can actually change our thought process, we can cha change our physiology um, through, through what, thought processes or through environment? Absolutely. In a landmark study done by Dean Ornish, he showed that he took them with prostate cancer. And he asked men who, are, who had been diagnosed with prostate cancer, rather than getting conventional treatment, to meditate, adopt a sensible lifestyle with a good, a good diet, mm -hmm. and do moderate exercise every day. And he found that their level of expression of oncogenes, cancer genes, literally was reduced. They shut down their production of cancer genes by this intelligent lifestyle. So we're discovering that wow. just lifestyle can affect our immune genes, our inflammation genes, our cancer genes, our longevity genes. Uh, it's pervasive in our bodies. Some of these intangible things like how we think, what we believe, doing EFT, doing EMDR, doing energy medicine can have a big effect on our bodies. Right, okay. Now, you just mentioned EFT as well. Now, I know that my Mibis community is fairly familiar with EFT, but can you just explain w what that is? Sure. I mentioned earlier that our body has a stress response if we have a stressful thought. Our body can't tell the difference between the paper tiger in your mind and being chased by a real tiger. It goes into the stress response. We make lots of these, these uh, hormones like adrenaline and cortisol. And what EFT does is it has you think about that paper tiger. So it has you think, you focus on negative thoughts. What bothers me? What annoyed me? What bad childhood experiences did I have? What negative work experiences am I having right now? So you think these thoughts, you drive your body into stress. Then what you also do with EFT is you tap or rub a set of acupressure points. There are, there are 12 of these points drawn from ancient Chinese meridian work. So we tap on these points, we rub them, and this, this introduces a calming signal to our body. So we're having a stress thought coming from up here, driving us into stress. We then break the association our body has between the stressful thought and the stressful response of the body by the soothing of the tapping of the acupressure points. That calms the body and it breaks the association the body has between the stressful stimulus from up here and the fight or flight response of stress in the body. And once we break that association one time, we literally, it's called counter condition ourselves. We have conditioned responses to these stressful memories. We counter condition those and we're now calm. So we find that working with veterans, for example, they have that memory of the, the roadside bomb in Afghanistan. It's lives in their brain, they're having nightmares, they're having flashbacks, they're having intrusive thoughts. Once we break the association with EFT in their brains one time, between that, that old neural bundle they've got there, it's this big, thick neural bundle full of stressful information, we break the association between that and the physiological stress response, and they're now calm. They can think about the IED exploding, they can think about the horrible experiences they've seen in combat, but they're now calm, they're no longer stressed, and they no longer have PTSD. Right. So I know you're doing a lot of work with vets at the moment. It's not just Afghanistan or Iraq vets. It's actually Vietnam vets as well. Um, so what are some of the, the, the research that you're doing there? Yeah, and by the way, Natalie, in your country, in Australia, uh, the number of veteran suicides is even higher than in the U.S. Right. from the Vietnam era. Uh, one Vietnam veteran, on average, commits suicide every 90 minutes. Think about that. By the time the next hour rolls around, an average of one more Vietnam veteran will have committed suicide. Um, we're losing more people through suicide from Afghanistan than we are in combat in Afghanistan. Yeah. It's just a terrible situation. PTSD is a pervasive disease. We also get calls here at our nonprofit every week from people who say things like, it's been 40 years since Vietnam, and my dad served there, and it's after 40 years, it's getting worse. His PTSD is becoming worse. That's because, those, again, those neural circuits are firing. We're doubling the number of neural connections we have around those negative thoughts every hour or two. And we're rewiring our brains for stress. The parts of the brain of people with PTSD that govern rational thinking, memory, learning, actually shrink over time. And the parts that govern the stress response actually grow over time. So we're rewiring our brains if we're stressed. So, yeah, we have this big program called the Veterans Stress Project. It's at stressproject.org, that's the website, where for free we connect veterans with PTSD with people who can help them, doing e mostly doing EFT with them. Yep. And it's remarkably fine on average. There is an over 60% drop in symptoms, and over 9 out of 10 of the veterans who come into our project walk out without PTSD, without clinical PTSD. So we're making a huge difference in the lives of them and their families by doing this. That's amazing. And uh, you're documenting all of this. This is part of a big study, right? 
You know, we've done, we've done two clinical trials, we've done a big randomized controlled trial, and we're in the middle of a second replication of that study. So there's a lot of good research, evidence research, evidence-based research, showing that EFT really works for things like anxiety, depression, PTSD, phobias, pain, and other, other problems. Yeah. I know, and that's the thing. It's like we're talking about a very inexpensive um, a very inexpensive therapy, which, you know, like we probably mentioned before, how it kind of falls into a bit of the woo-woo basket because it's like it's kind of a bit out there, you're kind of tapping your body, like what the hell, but, um, but you're coming up with scientific evidence that, that this actually does work. Absolutely, yeah. Well, I love the woo-woo basket. I, I go reach in there and look for things all the time. Yeah. <laughs> and I, what, I, what I recommend to people in my workshops is I say, go fish in the woo-woo basket, try meditation, Try things like heart math, try things like EFT, and put together a, a self-care, a self-eating regimen that works for you. Don't suffer. Don't just keep on dealing with all these these, these stresses and, and negative thoughts you've had your whole life. They're, they're really, they're, they're aging you. They're degrading your quality of life. Go and fish in that woo-woo basket. <laughs> Find things that, that you love. I've been using Mind Movies, your product recently. I love the new Mind Movies. You just go on there. You create a Mind Movie that has resonance for you. And the thing about you picking your own phrase and your own movie and your own your own images, your own own music, is that that then speaks to your brain uniquely. It's really powerful. So Mind Movies is great. So I, go, I, I say go fish in that woo-woo basket. <laughs> all the things that work for you. And use them. Use them. Don't suffer. Don't be stressed. Don't hang on to these this whole big bag and burden of, of stuff. Go ahead and empty the bag. Use mind movies. Use EFT. Ditch those things in the bag. You don't have to carry them through to the next phase of your life and keep on suffering. Exactly. Guys, I'm still filming, so just shift the room up, please. Um, yeah, because that's the thing. I mean, a lot of um, our clientele, you know, they, they can, we talk about using EFT as a way of getting past limiting beliefs. You know, some kind of, and I think you talked before about going into some kind of childhood situation that maybe, you know, this whole negative programming through repetition has been programmed into your mind, but through EFT you can actually you pattern interrupt that and change it. And, and so so with EFT, we're, what we're really doing is, is um, getting rid of the limiting belief and then replacing it with something else. Yes, and EFT has you face that limiting belief really squarely. It doesn't try and do positive thinking first. It lets positive thinking emerge from removing the emotional impact of your negative thinking. So what EFT does is it has you think about that problem, has you really focus on the problem, the problem, the problem, the problem, but then you tap or rub on these 12 acupressure points, and that introduces a different signal to your body. So your body is getting this one stress signal from your mind about my mother-in-law, about the problem, then we pair that with this second soothing signal, and that breaks the association your body has with this mental thought and the stress response. Once that association is broken one time, it usually stays broken and you're at peace forevermore, even though you may still remember the, the, uh, the IED blowing up in, in Afghanistan or your mother-in-law visiting or yeah. whatever the stress is. You no longer go into that physical stress response, and then once you've dealt with all those negative beliefs, you then have a fertile field to plant the positive beliefs. But if you try and plant positive beliefs without first facing and dealing with the negative beliefs, yeah. it, 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 Shakespeare says, it doth but skin and fill the ulcerous place, whilst rank corruption mines all within and that's unseen. <laughs> so uh, that's my favorite lines from Hamlet. And uh, you know, if you try to band-aid over the problem without going in there and dealing with those wounds, it's like putting a bandage over a wound without cleaning the wound first. You have to clean out the wound with the EFT, then you go and add your positive affirmations, then they really stick and work once you've done that earlier work. Wonderful. Now, I know that you, we can, you can use EFT for many different things, uh, but you've actually been working on a product um, for specifically for weight loss. Absolutely, because there are lots of accounts of people losing weight with EFT. There are hundreds of stories on the EFT Universe website. Oh, by the way, that's for people, people from all over the world, 40 languages, around 10,000 stories. People write in their experiences, I used EFT for pain, migraine, headaches, psoriasis, whatever it might be, depression, anxiety, mental issues, medical issues, they use EFT and then they write to us and say, I used EFT and guess what? I'm now free of mine, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. So that, that, that's where they go. So we, we looked at all the weight loss stories there and said, wow, it's amazing how many people have lost weight by dealing with their emotional eating, with their binges, with their cravings, with EFT. So we then began to build all of this into a product called Skinny Genes. 
G-E-N-E-S. And the website for this is skinnyjeansfit.com. Also, go to skinnyjeansquick.com, which will take you there as well. So skinnyjeansquick.com, and you'll find this amazing new six-week program. And what we found is that unlike other diet and exercise and weight loss programs, they often are successful. You lose weight in the short term. But most research shows that in the two years after people finish a diet or a weight loss program, they gain back all the weight they lost exactly. and more. It's mm-hmm. so discouraging. With our EFT weight loss, we've done that on two randomized controlled trials. We found that people, once they finish the program, they conquer their cravings. And after they finish an EFT weight loss program, they keep on losing weight. They lose an average of 11.1 pounds in the year after they finish the EFT program. Right. As far as we know, this is the only program where you actually lose weight after you finish the program as well as conquer your cravings on the program. So yeah, it's, it's really potent for weight loss. That's awesome. Okay. Now we've covered a lot th- this in this uh, video, so I want to just recap and make sure that we've got everything. So the URL or the website for people to go to uh, for the vets, the, the work that you're doing with vets? Is stress project dot org stressproject.org okay and then the amazing website that you have that's got like about 10,000 pages and just so many success stories and heaps of free content and information about EFT and all of this what's the what's that URL that is EFT universe.com EFT universe.com that's where you find all the stories you can download a free mini manual you can find links to favorite our favorite some of our favorite sites like my movies mm-hmm. and um, you'll find just a wealth of information from people who've used EFT for all kinds of conditions you can search by ADHD search by weight loss search by all kinds of different different problems or just type any term into our search engine and find other people who've used EFT for your problem right and then the last one which was the uh, skinny jeans website what was that URL yeah. Go to skinnyjeansquick.com, skinnyjeansquick.com. That will take you to the six-week program for EFT and weight loss. And the gene is G-E-N-E, as in your genes of your, of your body, not, yes. not genes that you wear. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Dawson, thank you so much for joining me today. Well, thank you for sharing your passion with people, Nathy. I love what you're doing, and I know we'll both keep on working jointly together for a long time. Absolutely, absolutely. Now, guys, I encourage you to share this video and all of the information in it by clicking the Facebook and the Twitter share buttons above. And if you haven't done so already, make sure that you put your email in the box above there. I would love to send you my Manifesting with a Master's video e-course. It includes masters like Bob Proctor, Joe Vitale, John Asaraf, Marcy Shymoff. Um, I'd like to send that. It's actually valued at $87, and I'd like to send it to you for free. So make sure that you put your email in the box above there. So until next time, remember to live large, choose courageously, and love without limits. We'll see you soon. She speaks for me. Thank yeah. you. Thanks for watching this video. Now, before you go, do you want to learn the insider secrets to welcoming more abundance, more love and more happiness into your life from some of the world's most inspiring personal growth gurus? Then be sure to click the link below now to subscribe to the Inspiration Show community and be one of the first to find out about brand new episodes of the show. You're absolutely going to love what we have coming up in store for you. Plus, you'll instantly receive a free copy of my Manifesting with the Masters video e-course featuring some of the biggest stars from the movie The Secret, teaching you how to manifest your dream life faster and easier than you ever thought possible. So to get your free copy, be sure to click on the link below now. I'm Natalie Ledwell. Thanks again for watching. And until next time, remember to live large, choose courageously, and love without limits. I'll see you soon.